Hi everyone, welcome to Jabatiki. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to use Spring Auto REST docs to auto generate REST API documentation. So, in our previous example, we understand how to generate API documentation using Spring REST docs with test driven approach. So, basically, we wrote test case using mock MVC and from test case, we generate REST documentation, isn't it? So if you observe in test case, we wrote lot of additional stuff to document our REST API. So we have two test case here, test add order, test get orders. So in each method, we are adding logic to document our API, right? We specify the identifier and we specify the pretty print format. Same for test get orders method. Okay. So this is not the exact API documentation logic. Sometimes we need to add path parameter, query parameter or request format description like that. Let's say I have 100 test case. Then in 100 test method, I need to write this logic to document my REST API, which you can say burden for a developer, isn't it? Then how we can automate this process? So to overcome this issue, Spring Boot developer came up with Spring Auto REST docs concept Using that, we can easily generate REST documentation. So, if you are using Spring Auto REST docs concept, then you no need to write this logic in each and every test method. Okay. So, let's go ahead and modify our existing code to auto generate documents. Let's get started. So here I will take reference of Spring official documentation. So we need to add Spring Auto REST docs dependency and we need to add one more Maven plugin. So if you will come down, this is what the dependency. So let me copy this in our code. Let's go to pom.xml. Then I can add this dependency here. Now then let's copy the plugin. So let me add it in our code up to plugin we want go to your pom.xml then if you will come to the build section you can add the plugin here yeah so let me save this so we added here all the required dependency and plugin now i can close all here so go to the test case we don't want to write this in each and every test method so just remove it and we need to close this so let's do same for our test get orders method. So we don't want this undo document. So just remove it, add the semicolon here. And even you don't want this undo print. So remove it. Okay. Now if you observe in our test case, we don't write single line to generate documents, right? So now let's go to our before each method. Here we want to write the format and here we need to specify the snippets we want to generate. So go to this official document and then if you will come down, you need to add this piece of code. Let me add it so that I can explain you. So copy this, go to your code, then just remove this build and add it here. So first let's import the statement. Still, there is some compilation error. Yeah, it is unable to find the object mapper. So, what we can do, we'll add an object of object mapper here. We'll inject it. Then, inject using auto add. Yeah, so there is no compilation error. So, let me close this. So, if you'll we'll come down here, we are just doing always do Jackson result handler prepare Jackson with the help of object mapper whatever the request and response we are converting to JSON using this object mapper and here we specify the identifier the folder structure where we want to generate the snippet so we just want to create the folder with name of method okay then we specify here request and response format which we mentioned pretty print so that we can see our JSON as key value pair and we set limit json array length and we replace binary content 
In apply, we are just configuring our REST documentation which we passed as part of method argument. Then we specify the URI, host, port and here we specify the snippets. Okay, Snippets in the sense the ad hoc file which will be generated. And we are informing or we are telling to Spring Boot these are the ad hoc file I want to generate in my output directory. So basically once your application will execute it will generate HTTP request ad hoc, response ad hoc and if you have any request field, response field, path parameter, request parameter, description with all these prefix it will generate the ad hoc file and in this particular section this one auto documents dot section you will find all the request response description whatever the input and output okay so now let's run our test case to verify whether these snippets are getting generated or not so let's go up let's run this test case so your snippet will generate in this folder this is what we mentioned in our previous example right so let it complete So the execution started here. Yeah, so you can see, let me maximize this. Yeah, all these two test cases succeed. Now go to the project structure, go to the target folder. If you will come down, it created a folder called generated snippets. It created two more folder, test add order, test get orders, right? So, and these two folder which you can see here test add order and test get order is generated in our previous tutorial so what i will do here let me do one maven clean so that we can see the scratch folder or scratch snippets which is generated in this example okay so let me clean it yeah build success now let me rerun the test case Yeah, it succeed. Now go to the target folder. Go to the generated snippets. You can find only two folder, right? Test add order, test get orders. This is what we mentioned in identifier section, right? Method name. As we added hyphen, so in my each word, it is adding hyphen here. Okay. So let's go inside this test add order. So if you observe, you can see here auto description add up auto method path ad hoc so th these are the things we mention as part of snippet response request field so if you will come here you will find the request and request field path parameter method path okay so these are the ad hoc file same for test let me close this yeah same for test get orders whatever the snippets we mention we will find here so let's open any of one this is what the call request slash get orders right it looks good whatever the snippet we mention in our test case we can able to see all the snippets in our target folder right now we need to convert this ad hoc file as a html so that a person can easily read our api documentation so in our previous example we understand how we can convert our ad hoc to html file so that's the reason we created one folder called ASCII docs and inside this ASCII docs we created one index.adoc file and inside that we are just specifying or we are just pointing to our snippet. So previously it created a folder called test add order in our previous example and this is what our HTTP request. So we generate this API documentation. You can see only request and response. Right? Now we just want to specify all the input whatever the path parameter, query parameter, description or data type of my input everything I want to specify. So what we want to do? This folder is not present in our target so let's specify this folder and let's give the ad hoc file here. Okay. So I just want to remove this. So even I don't want to specify any request and response here. 
because if you observe this is uh, let's come down yeah auto section dot adoc file this auto section dot adoc file contains all the include so i can directly point to this auto section adoc file from my index dot adoc okay so let's go here so let me remove this here we need to give the path of our snippet generated folder so the folder is test hyphen add hyphen order so add it add hyphen order now we need to give the adoc file so from this test hyphen add dot order i want to give this auto hyphen section dot adoc file as i already mentioned this auto hyphen section contains all these adoc link okay if you want you can add individually but as of now i am going to add this auto hyphen section dot adoc okay so let me specify here auto hyphen section dot adoc so let me add same and we will change the folder so i don't want this response let's remove it even i don't want this text remove it so here instead of test add order we can give test get orders okay so let me change it to test get orders yeah so we gave the snippet adoc file here now once you will run maven package or maven clean install it will just convert this adoc file to html file okay so let's run this maven fetch go to m type your maven package yeah so let's wait it to complete yeah so we can see the build is success here now let me close this if you will come to this target folder you will find one folder called generate docs okay so if you will go inside this generate docs and if you will open this index.html file so better let me open it in browser so you can choose this google chrome yeah so if you observe this is what our text java techie getting started with spring rest docs this is what we mention in our index.adoc file right java tiki getting started with spring rest docs then this is what another uh, string or description we can say so go to the browser and this is what the description and this is what the save order my controller method name and this is what the http method type and url and as this is my post request i don't have any path parameter and query parameter and if you observe here it mentions the request field with input field as well as the data type and whether it is optional or required so this table structure is generated by spring rest autodocs okay because in test case we didn't specify manually for each test case we didn't specify request field or response field so if you observe this is what the request field and this is what the response field because in our save order method the input is list of order object and the return type is list of order object that's why the request and response structure is showing same here and if you observe it is adding one array right because our argument the request and return type will be list if it is a object you can directly find the attribute here okay so if you will come down this is what the example request for your post api this is what the call request and this is what the example response similarly for second test case which will be our get orders the http method type will be get and the url will be slash get orders for that also we don't have any path parameter and query parameter but even we don't have any request fields because this is the get api once we will hit the request it will fetch list of order object from database and it will return back to us okay that's why it contains only response fields so again the response field is list of order object that's why you can see the array symbol here and if you will come down this is what your example request so http localhost 8080 then slash get orders no additional parameter here right so if you will come down you can find the example response here and this is what the text we added at end and this is some footer added by spring rest docs yeah this is how we can generate 
REST documentation using Spring REST Autodocs, which will be in built API provided by Spring Boot. And the contribution was given by one another company, which will be Scalable Capital. So you can check this documentation. I will add this link in video description so that you guys can follow this step. Yeah. That's all about this particular video guys. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.